All right, so we're descending into Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes, I can spell Albuquerque. Oh, 1997, can I Albuquerque approach? Uh, One, two, three point nine. And the question is, what is a flow? What's the difference between a checklist and a flow? And there are two major differences. First, uh, a checklist, as the name implies, is written, written down, and it, it implies that it's for a particular phase of flight. For example, as example, a, a descent checklist. A flow, on the other hand, covers certain things in the airplane in sequence, and it's done visually. For example, in the Meridian, I teach the flow of pumps and igniters, hots, lights, frets, Hey, good morning, Albuquerque King Air. Environmental Air with you, uh, 260. Hey, Flaps, Albuquerque Center, Roger. Trims, plural. Pressure. 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 You got a lot better through 310 and 300 is pretty good. So now, what does all that mean? 2050, Roger. Pumps and igniters, as the name implies, are the fuel pumps and the igni ignition system for the turbine engine. Um, and. And so a flow doesn't tell you what to do, it tells you only what to consider. Okay. So in this case, for the descent, pumps and igniters are in auto. Hots as required, pitot heat on at all times, whatever you're in flight, even if it's 120 in Albuquerque. And that's just because uh, that particular item has been killing pilots for centuries, and it's time to stop that. So uh, professional pilots use pitot heat all the time. This is a pressurized, high-altitude airplane. We will use pitot heat on every flight. Our center, good morning. Crossing the hold short line, we turn it on. We don't turn it off otherwise. Prop heat comes on when the uh, icing conditions prevail. That would be in the presence of visible moisture, clouds, rain, snow, whatever, when the temperature is between plus 10 and minus 20. Now, it is plus 10, minus 20, but as you can see out the window, it's not. There isn't any visible yeah, moisture today. Southwest 185, Good morning. 185. Windshield comes on. What I use it uh, as as uh, the de-ice rather than anti-ice. Uh, stall heat, same way. If you're picking up ice, get that on right away. When you have it available. And surface de-ice, as the name implies, is the boots. They come on as needed. Uh, who is the last place? That's so now lights. We take direct Pete Springs for uh, Taxi uh, lights just come on anytime the aircraft is moving on the ground or anytime you're landing right, at night. Pulse lights at all times below 10,000 uh, in the runway environment. So when you take the runway until you leave, uh, leave above 10,000, those are on. Landing light comes on with a clearance to land, or in the absence of a clearance to land when, it's, when the runway is clear and the landing is assured on a non-tower airport. It comes off after the departure. Nav lights are on at all times whenever power is applied to the bus, whether the engine is running or not. So in my view, that switch, and this is AIM information now, not, not my view. My view is the AIM view. Uh, my view, this AIM view, this should be on at all times. So always on, even when the engine shut down. Well, battery master off, it goes off. Strobe lights, anytime the engine is running, providing the lights don't interfere with your visibility or someone else's. That means don't run them on the ramp or in taxi at night or even during the day for that matter. Ice light, anytime you need it at night to spot the ice. Entertainment control, of course, is uh, really not functional. It's the power switch for the FM AM radio behind the pilot. Threats displayed. Now, uh, that too takes some recognition. If there's, uh, obviously, if there's rain showers and thunderstorms in the area, we want the radar on. Uh, if we're descending into Albuquerque, uh, terrain would be a nice thing to be seeing, even on a good day. We definitely want traffic displayed, and it is. Uh, and we want it in the unlimited position in this case. So we have train, traffic, radar, that, that's all displayed on the Avidine. EX-5000, and that's the way it should be. Uh, so we just uh, make that decision at the time based on what the current threats are. Environmental, is everybody comfortable? Yeah, okay, so that's it. And then uh, coming on down, flaps. In this case, for the descent, flaps are retracted. Trims are set for the descent. Pressure is in. The inflow valve is in. 
ECS is on and the pressure is set to 500 above field elevation, which at Albuquerque is uh, 5,000 and change. The peanuts, meaning the two inch gyros and so forth, are alive and well. We're just looking at those to make sure the backups are working correctly. Uh -huh. And that's the flow.